One of the most popular widgets we ever built for Adobe Muse was called Equid eCommerce. Equid is an e-commerce platform where you can build a fully featured store on equid.com. This is their site. And when you're done building your store, you simply embed it into any web design platform you choose. We've just finished building an Equid widget for Architect so that integration is smooth and you have some settings. And you can see the demo on screen here. So there's two components to the Equid widget. We've got the Equid store. This is really a fully featured store, so I can click on any of the categories. Here's the various products within those categories. And if I click on them, I can, of course, add them to the bag. Then I could check out, and it brings up a full checkout experience. Let me drop back to the landing page here. The second component to this widget is called the single product widget. So the single product widget allows you to embed just one product on a page on your site. And then of course, you can have various settings within that for colors and sizes and quantities. Then you'll just click Add to Bag. When you click Add to Bag, you'll receive a little corner icon here that indicates something is in the cart and you can check out from there. Now, because I've used both these widgets on a single page in the demo, the store widget is actually kind of overriding the single product widget. So we're not getting our cart icon there. However, you will not be using both of these widgets on a single page. So let's jump into Architect and I'll show you how to set this up. So I'm on a blank page here. And if I go into the widgets panel and I scroll down to advanced, we've got Equid single product and Equid store. I'm going to bring out the Equid store widget and just drop it there. So you'll see a very simple static representation of the store on screen. And then of course, we've got an option panel that we need to work through settings. The first setting here is the store ID. So you'll need to sign up for an Equid account and link up your store ID in this section. Now signing up for an account is quick. You just click sign up and then create your account from there. And when you're done signing up for an account, this is what your dashboard is going to look like. So the Equid setup process is a very guided experience where we have different steps to creating our store. So we're going to create an account, which we've done, and then we can go ahead and add products, verify things like settings, shipping settings, payment settings, and then we're good to go. So the first thing we need to do is find that store ID and link it up. The easiest place to find that is if I just scroll down to the bottom of my Equid dashboard, in the footer on all pages, you'll see a link that says store ID. And it's just this string of characters here. So if I copy that, and if I jump back to the editor, I can paste that in here and you're good. My store is now linked up. So you'll notice that you don't receive any sort of preview on screen. And even if I hit preview, it's just the same thing. Because of the way an embedded widget like this works, you will only see a true representation of it when you've actually published up the site. So I'm working on a published site. I'm going to click republish here. Okay, so my site is published. Now I'm just going to click the link and let's have a look at how this widget looks. I put it on the store page. And there you go. So our Equid widget is working perfectly right out of the gate. These are just sample products they include for you. But once you've worked through and added your own products, nothing is going to be there. So everything's looking good here. I won't run through all of the specific settings within the Equid side. There's quite a lot to it. However, underneath the design tab on the sidebar, you'll see there's a ton of settings here. So you can actually control most of your style settings from the Equid side, and you won't need to do much within Architect. You've also got settings below that for things like payment. How do you want to get paid? And you can set up different payment providers from this section. So I'm happy with my setup on the Equid end. Now let's look at the widget within Architect. So if I click on the widget and bring up the panel, you'll see that it's fairly limited in terms of settings. The reason for this is we wanted to retain most of the settings being controlled on the Equid side. So we've got some simple toggles here. We have something called Enable Category Navigation. What that's going to do is give you various categories of products to select from. Rather than dumping all of the products on the landing page, you can have different categories and then dig deeper into those categories. So we can turn that on and off. We can enable or disable a search box for our products. We can limit our products per page. We can also set a default category ID. So once you've set up categories in Equib, you can specify which category you'd like to be your main default category showing within your store. So that's it for settings there. There is a note below that says the quick navigation setting should be turned off for proper function of this widget. Quick navigation is a feature within Architect that doesn't reload your navigation when you jump between pages. It creates a little bit more of a seamless transition between those pages. I don't have quick navigation available on this demo because I'm using an expandable menu. However, when you're using a kind of standard navigation with just a row of nav links, Underneath the header settings, you'll find something called quick navigation. 
you'll want to make sure to disable that if your store is not functioning properly. We'll include a written note and a screenshot of the quick navigation settings within our documentation area. So that's it for the Equid store settings from here. The design tab has nothing but spacing on it because most of the design settings are controlled on the Equid side. So I'm going to remove this widget for now and I'm going to jump into the widgets again and I'll drag out the single product. So let's jump into the single product panel and you can see that we have very similar settings here. We need our store ID. So let's just paste that in there. Now we need our product ID. Because we're just showing one product, we need to specifically tell the widget which product we're using. So let's jump back over to the Equid control panel side. And if I click on my catalog, this is what shows all of the products in your store. We've got a bunch of sample products in here right now. If I click on any of these products, the easiest way to find the ID is within the URL itself. So if I just look at the URL in the top bar here, you can see it says the store ID right there, then a bunch of characters, and then we've got this area that says ID and there's a number beside it. That is the specific product ID for this product. So I'm just going to copy that. I'll jump back to my architect dashboard and I'll paste that within this panel. And there you go. We've got that single product ID linked up. Next up, we just have toggle options for showing different components of the single product. So let's go ahead and republish the site with the single product option set up there and I'll show you how it looks. Okay, the site is published. Let's click the URL, navigate to my store page, and there's our single product. If we click add to bag, you'll see that we get this little shopping cart icon or bag icon here. And when we click on that, it's going to bring up the checkout flow and users can check out from the site. So as you can see, the single product widget can be used to create a very customized e-commerce experience. You could drop that widget on pages you built within your architect website, and you can really control the design and layout of those product pages. So that's it for the Equid e-commerce store setup. I know many of you have existing Equid stores that you're looking to get into Architect, and this widget should streamline that process and make it easy to move your store over to our platform. Thanks again for watching, and enjoy this widget.